Well, I wasn't expecting to do this video. Oh my gosh. So for those that don't know, I have done tons of videos covering a lot of different loan services. I did a deal with, was it Bridget? One of these, Albert, Albert, how you can pay your loans back and cash app, get the loan systems. Now we have Apple. They said they want in on it. Apple introduced Apple Pay Later to allow consumers to pay for purchases over time. Apple Pay users can split purchases into four payments with zero interest and zero fees. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's, it's, it's a rabbit hole. Like, I get it. Like, if you need a payday loan, you need some money, it's better to borrow it from yourself and pay yourself back. But you're going to go through this rabbit hole and always owe yourself. Jeez, this is good but bad at the same time. So look at the example they have. It's a payment due, 415 Due the next 30 days, 316 I don't know how that works. Upcoming payments. See, th this is confusing. you just paying yourself back. Oh, Lord. Okay, let's read it. Make sure you guys hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. Okay, it says... Apple today introduced Apple Pay Later in U.S. designed by users' financial health, um, users' financial health in mind. Apple Pay Later allows users to split purchases into four payments spread over six weeks with no interest and no fees. Users can easily track, manage, and repay their Apple Pay loan later loans in one convenient location in Apple Wallet. Users can apply for Apple Pay Later loans from fifty to one hundred dollars. So my first question is, do your spending habit shows like your qualifications? If you get a bunch of money in your account regularly, do you get a thousand? Do you spend like what qualify you? Because I don't personally use Apple Pay, never use them once in my life. So I don't even know. I see people use it, but I don't know. Which can be used for online and in-app purchases made on iPhone, iPad with merchants that accept Apple Pay starting with today oh so it's starting today apple will be inviting selected users to access a pre-release version of apple pay later let me know in the comments if you are one of those people i'm assuming it's somebody that use it all the time and it's everybody else will be eligible in the last few months so let me know if you guys have this available um this option and let me know if you guys are actually going to use it be transparent you know no judging here just give my opinion there's no one size fit all approach when it comes to how people manage their finances. Many people are looking for flexible payments options, which is why we are excited to provide users with Apple Pay later, said Jennifer Bailey. Do do design users. Okay, no hell. Okay. App apply for track managed loans in wallets. To get started with Apple Pay later, users can apply with the loan within a wallet with no impact to their credit then they will be prompt to enter the amount they would like to borrow and agree to apple pay later terms what are these terms because they said no fees and no stuff so what's going on a soft core credit okay so you just said hold on hold on hold on hold on it just said you can apply for the loan and it won't impact your credit score but then they say a soft credit pool will be doing will be done during the application process to help ensure the customer is in a good financial position before taking a loan. So they are going to discriminate and it's basically off of your credit. A soft one, you know, soft, hard. Yeah, I don't I don't tomato, tomato. After users prove they will see the pay later option and select Apple Pay at checkout online and apps and can use pay letter as option. So I guess once you get approved for it, you can just always use it when you want to. Pay in full, pay third as much every two weeks. Apple Pay later is built right into the wallet. So they got it built right into there. Ah, mm, mm, mm. Okay. My honest opinion. First thing first, I will say, let's look into these terms because y'all said there's no fees and all that type of stuff what if the people that don't have the money to pay for what they want to buy right now don't have the money to pay you guys back for the things that they didn't have the money for 
what's the likelihood of that happening? Probably 60%. 60% of people is not going to pay back on time. So if they don't pay back on time, they're not going to get charged. The good thing is they probably, everybody probably have to pay back after a while because at, they could shut down your phone, such as you want to download an app, update an app, do anything. If you're not paid up to date, they like, yo, we charging all cards on file. Whenever you log into this, hey, you, you got a payment with my money, man. With my money, man. We all been there and it's annoying. You're like, okay, let me update my new card and let me pay you guys. I I don't know. I don't use Apple Pay. I will take your guys' advice. What do y'all think? If y'all don't want to be fully discriminated on your credit, Cash App do have a borrow option for certain people. Mine let me borrow up to two fifty. You gotta pay like six dollars back or whatever it is. I got a affiliate deal with Albert where they give you $200, 250 dollars, and you know just check my bio and see some different things. What's your honest thoughts? I don't know.